we will play the Rejuvenator just to get some more mana on the table. See if we can find anything decent. Did not find one. Fudge butter. Hello and welcome. Dirty William here, back with another episode of Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, last time I got my ass handed to me <laughs> against a white, uh, white black, uh, like Orzhov deck. Lots of flyers, lots of angels, lots of lifelink, and him with like 10 creatures attacking me for 85 damage. Um, against my deck that I played. I'm going to go ahead and play it again, though, because uh, I'd like to 10 more red or green spells, and I get a pack of cards. I want to do that. Alright, we got a player. It is Nautilus, and he looks a lot like me. It's my tween. Alright, we got Mountain Forest Forest, we got Charging Monster Soar, all kinds of stuff that costs way too damn much. Uh, I could cast this on turn 3, but I wouldn't be doing very much else, so I'm going to go ahead and mulligan. Raptor Hatchling, Frenzied Raptor, I have enough for that, and then Charging Tuscadon. If it would deal combat damage to a player, it deals double that damage to that player instead. That's not... that's kind of crazy and nutty. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a good hand or not, but I'm going to keep it anyway. Um, do I want to put that on the top or the bottom? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and play a mountain. See what this guy's playing with. He's also playing a mountain. Neat. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's play a forest and our raptor hatchling, just because. It's a one-one for two. Now this card I would think requires like. So it says one of its dealt damage created a 3 3 green dinosaur creature token with trample. So it effectively trades itself out for a 3 3 dinosaur. Looks like some goblin action. Okay, let's play the. What? Timber Gorge and the Druid of the Cow, I think. Because that's a little bit of a blocker. Got a little fat butt on it. And we will no attack. Actually, if it did attack, I'd get a 3 3. I keep on thinking whenever it says that when it takes damage, I get that. And I guess I'm not thinking of okay, it's taking damage and it dies, then I won't get the three three. But I would get the three three. It's effectively just replacing itself. <coughs> so next turn, I can play a land, and I would have five mana available, uh, including the Druid of the Cowl, and I would be able to play the Charging Tuscadon, which has Trample. Not Haste, but Trample. So, um, I think I might do that. Okay, he's got a couple more little dudes. So, actually, the next turn, if I was able to draw a Shock, that would be really nice, because I could... Um, and he'll probably do something like that. He'll probably shock these guys or something like that. I don't know why my little guy here didn't didn't block, but okay, that's cool. Okay, so let's play a mountain, and now I can play this uh, charging Tuscadon dude, and we will say um, attack. So if he blocks it. I'm going to get a 3-3 three, three out of the deal and have a blocker. So he's better off just letting that one damage go through. In my opinion. And unfortunately, one of his little guys died, or else he had been able to... Um, the Charging Tuscadon guy, he would have been able to, like, quadruple block that. And uh, that would have been the end of my little guy right there. If it would deal combat damage to a player, it deals double that damage to that player instead. So I can, excuse me, attack with it pretty freely. I, excuse me, got a shock in hand, so I'd be able to play my frenzied raptor uh, guy plus shock one of his guys off the board. And since it has trample, I'd be doing like four damage, so that's pretty significant. I'm not really sure why the guy's going in the tank here, what he's thinking about, but, uh, I mean, I guess since it has trample, if he, if he blocked it, just chump blocked it with one, you can't really chump block something with trample. 
Well, I've been waiting around for a little bit here. I'm not sure if the guy is just hoping that I concede or something like that. Apparently he doesn't realize that I'm a middle-aged guy with nothing better to do than play a frickin' video game. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been sitting here for a good minute or so. Maybe he's just trying to let the timer run out or something? Yeah, I guess so. Weird. Okay, let's play uh, a mountain. Um, let's... Yeah, go ahead and shock one of his guys off the board. And uh, attack with everything. And he pretty much has to block that thing, because he's going to be taking like 8 damage. Um, unless he has a couple shocks in hand. He could, he could very well have that. I think at the end of my turn before, I would have probably just gotten rid of it. Maybe he just left the game. Yeah, he's not making any decisions, he or she. Just kind of sitting there and letting things fizzle out. Oh, he conceded, I guess. Huh, okay, well, didn't get a chance to attack with my big beefy monster, but that's fine, it's still a win. And, oh, I'm so close, so close. Claim my prize of 250 coins. And I guess I get, um, it says if you win a, a match, you get that, so uh, I need to cast six more to get a pack, so yeah. I think that's since a lot of that's going to be cut out, I'm going to go ahead and play another game. Hey, we got a player. It is Skyer. 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 Cool. All right. All right, so what do we got? We got Mountain, Mountain Forest, uh, second turn play, first turn play, Elvish Rejuvenator, a couple of those. Uh, we'll keep it. That's a lot of land I can get out of my deck in the first... Uh, Let's see. Within the first, like, four turns or so. So that's not bad. So, let's play our forest. Play our lawnmower elf. Boom. And see what we're up against with sky -er. Uh Let's see. Looks like he is on some green and blue for now. Is that a gate? So, let's play a land, play our Rejuvenator, try to get a little bit more mana fixing, I guess. Let's see, we've got... let's go ahead and get a forest. I'm going to have a lot of mana, so hopefully I'll start drawing into some of those good things in a little bit. So next turn I can play... Um, attack with my Land of War Elves for one, and play another Rejuvenator. I guess. Or I could play another Land of War Elves. Uh, let's see. Enter the battlefield, draw a card. And he's got Jade Bearer. Enter the battlefield, put a 1-1 one -one counter on another target, Merfolk. Okay. It's a little bit of card advantage, so he's on. He's doing some green-blue uh, green blue Merfolk, which is kind of neat. Let's see. So, if we attack into that guy, it's not really going to do us much good. So, how about we play land? We will play the Rejuvenator, just to get some more mana on the table. Let's see if we can find anything decent. Did not find one. Fudge butter. That sucks a big one. And let's play our um, our guy, our little little dude. Man, swinging a miss on that. Can you believe that? That sucks. Sucks. Jungleborn Pioneer, Merfolk Scout. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 blue Merfolk creature token with hexproof, so it cannot be uh, targeted by the spells or ability your opponent control. So there you go. Banefire, yay! So we got Needle Tooth Raptor. Whenever it uh, is dealt damage, deals 5 damage to target creature and opponent controls. So let's go, I guess we will maybe attack with stuff. Yeah, why not? I mean, the worst that's going to happen is he's going to block stuff. I would get rid of my Land of War Elves, for sure. The other guys are expendable. I'd probably take the Jungleborn Pioneer against the Land of War Elves. Uh, maybe take two uh, to the face. Okay, uh, there's that too. You do that. And let's go ahead and play that guy. Because why not? It's only a 2-2, but 
whenever it's dealt damage, it deals 5 damage to target creature and opponent controls. So it's a uh, way for him not to attack with his 1-1 one, one, or his 2-1, so it's a little bit of a good defense. Now I've got Banefire, but I don't have a lot of mana to play uh, with it right now, unfortunately. You put it nice, yeah, I was going to say put it on the Hexproof guy and start bumping him up. He's probably going to do the same thing. Yep, make that a 3-3. Three, three. Excuse me. Oh, he returned my Needle Tooth Raptor to my hand. That's disappointing. And I have no blockers, so I'm down to 13 already. Carnage Tyrant. Six mana. Can't be countered, trample, and hexproof. Damn, that's pretty savage. Uh, so it's six mana, and I don't have enough for that. So what do we do here? I'm going to be taking six a turn. Go ahead and play that guy again, because why not? And I guess we will say no attack. Just leave him back for blockers. Because <clears throat> he's got 8 damage coming at me. And I can chew through some of those guys unless he casts like more disperse stuff. I think there's only one Banefire in the deck too. Which you don't really want too many X spells clogging up your hand and stuff. But like right now I could uh, for 3 mana basically burn out one of those guys that he's got. Um, that are just kind of a, a pain in the, the tuchus. It's only a bunch of 1-1s, one but, I mean, it's a good strategy is the thing. It's a bunch of smaller creatures backed up by maybe some counter spells, and, uh, like, Disperse is a really good card, in my opinion. Um, I haven't seen... I don't know if there's a lot of combo decks, but I haven't seen any yet. It doesn't really matter, in like, like these very basic uh, decks that you play with, but there might be uh, some combo decks out there of some kind. Um... I mean, card synergy is always good, and obviously this Merfolk deck is, is pretty solid. And I don't like it when a blue mage takes their time and sits there and says, Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Give me a minute. I'm thinking. It's like, oh god, this is going to be horrible. I think he's trying to figure out blockers and stuff like that, maybe. Like, if, if he swings for the attack, what does he need to do to get through the most amount of damage? But, uh, what does it say? 1-1 uh, counter target creature and 1-1 one, one counter on up to 1 target merfolk. And why not play another one? Sure. So he's got like a nice little army going on here. And so this thing deals 5 damage target creature and opponent controls. So I can uh, block his Silvergill Adept there. I can block and block, no, block, and block there, right? And then I can block his guy here, and then take out his Jade Bearer guy. Okay, whenever do it, da, 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 to opponent, uh, Five damage to target creature and opponent control. So let's do that one. And then I get a 3-3 for my trouble. So let's play a Timber Gorge. Uh, let's see, I only have uh, five mana. I'll have six, so let's go ahead and play that guy. Say no attack. Even though I should have, because all he's going to do is just jump block with that. But now I've got a 3-3. I can block his 3-3 here, or his 3-3 here. That one has um, Hexproof, so I would probably block that one. <coughs> and I'll go ahead and end my turn. Because sitting here waiting and not pushing a button is dumb. Oh my god, that's like the third one of those cards. Jeez Louise, I can't ever get draws like that. Okay, so now, do I go ahead and block this stuff? Might as well. Oh, he's, is he unblockable now, too? Is that the thing? Is that you're not going to let me block? Okay, so he's still got that 4-4 four, four and a 1-1. One, one. So now I've got a 7-6 Trampler that I doubt very much he's going to be able to tech into, unless he has another Disperse, which is entirely possible. Um, let us block the big guy.
and he conceded at 17 life. I'm only at 5. He, I guess, saw that he wasn't going to be drawing very many good things. Okay, well, cool. All right. Hey, looky there. I get that, and I get a booster. Cool. And I get to earn a new deck tomorrow. So there's that. Uh, what is this? Oh, I need one more win. See how this game pulls you in? This is the last game I'm playing tonight. I'm sorry. I can't do it anymore. I'm so fucking I'm tired. Um, let's go to our packs real quick. And open that booger up. It's a core set pack, which... Eh. So let's see what we get. Explosive apparatus is a common. Three tap sacrifice. Deals two damage to any target. It's not horrible, I guess. Daybreak Chaplain, 1 3 with Life Link, which is not too horrible. Highland Game, whenever it dies, you gain 2 life. 2 mana for 2 1, that's not bad at all. I see I'm big into popper stuff. Just those basic cards like this just do something to me. Oh, I got to disperse. Return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. Salvager of Secrets, Merfolk Wizard, 2 2 4 5. Whenever it enters the battlefield, return target instant or search card from your graveyard to your hand. It's kind of nice. And let's see, one of my uncommons is Arcane's Encyclopedia. Three to play, and three tap it and draw a card, which is uh, in, you know, no colors at all. You can use it in any deck, which is nice. Uh, Suspicious Bookcase. Zero, four, for two. It has Defender. A three tap target creature can't be blocked this turn. So, it gives me a little spy to do stuff. And my rare or mythic is Metamorphic Alteration. Costs two mana. Enchantment Aura. Enchant creature. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature. Enchanted creature is a copy of the chosen creature. Oh, that's kind of neat. So I could actually enchant a dude and then um, get a dude. Right? As a matter of fact, enters the battlefield, choose a creature. Enchanted creature is a copy of the chosen creature. So if I have a little uh, crappy guy and I got a big guy, I can turn my big guy in, or my small guy into a big guy. Kind of neat. And how far are we on the wild card? I need three more packs for my next rare wild card. Okay. And uncommon is six more packs. So three there, six. Yeah, okay. That's how that works. Okay, cool. Woo! I have no packs to open. Disappointing. But I do have a bunch of, of fake money. Now, I'm, I'm not going to spend this right now because I can go and buy some packs um, in the store, I think. I think they cost like a thousand gold. Yeah, so I could get like three packs right now and do it. But I'm trying to save up my my monies and not spend them right away on packs and stuff like that and trying to ease into the game because um, I don't really have a certain thing to go for, like a certain deck or anything. Uh, I have been looking at uh, like this red deck, uh, you know, aggressive kind of a thing. I do need quite a few rares and uncommons, and I'm certain I don't have those. But anyway, this this episode has gone on way, way too long. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Until next time, this is Dirty William, doing the dirty work.